I was a kid, I had three channels on television. I had six, eight, and 12, just like everyone else. Now, when I talk to my kids and I tell them that, they look at me like I'm an alien or something. Because now they have 200, 300 channels. And now, really, with the internet, there's an unlimited number of channels out there. So this unlimited landscape has created a massive hunger for content worldwide. So in Virginia, we can take advantage of that hunger because number one, we have a perfect palette for filmmakers. We have all kinds of locations from mountains to beaches to rivers to you know, period architecture to contemporary architecture. We have that whole side of the equation completely buttoned up with great locations for filmmakers. But now, the whole industry is not really driven by the best locations. That's part of the artistic equation. But once you get past the art, you need to get to the money. It often comes down to the money, right? So there are more than 40 states now that offer amazing, very competitive incentive programs to try to bring this work to their state. Why do they want the work? Because when they come into the state or the city or the county where they're working, they bring a helicopter full of money, they spread it out all parts of the economy, everything from buying paper clips to going to restaurants to renting helicopters themselves, right? Uh, our program is comparatively modest you know, relative to the other states we compete with, but we've been able to be very efficient in how we utilize that. So now that we've been able to create some more work here in Virginia, we need workers to fulfill the needs to, to support that work. These are the new manufacturing jobs of the future. It's content manufacturing. That is our buzzword. So we've worked with the community college to develop a program, this film industry training program, uh, to try to create an opportunity for young people, older people, people looking for a new career path, to come in and learn the introductory parts of production and find a pathway to a job. In our partnership with the community college system, we're gonna start it out in central Virginia and hopefully take it statewide as the demand continues to rise. So this film industry training program is our best way to grow the film crew to make us more attractive to filmmakers that are coming from the outside. We need more workers. You know, our goal at the film office is to really pursue a vertically integrated industry here in Virginia that can not only create the content from writing it all the way through to production, through to distribution of the content through the internet where anyone can really be a distribution company or entity, and all the way to the financing of the content. Now, we really believe that we have uh, talented storytellers and filmmakers here in Virginia. It's not just about bringing in the outside work. It's about working with our indigenous Virginia uh, talented filmmakers to help them uh, find a way to realize their vision and, and work in a field that they are passionate about and uh, a, a way that they can find the resources they need in Virginia to support their artistic dream. You know, the most important thing, a crew member, a production company, a filmmaker, even a citizen who's a film buff can do is to join the Virginia Production Alliance. We need members because we need a voice. The entity needs a voice to be able to affect government policy, to be able to provide incentives in the environment that is required to bring this work into Virginia. The VPA is the voice to make that happen. So if you want more filmmaking and you want a job opportunity in production in Virginia, you need to join the VPA.